Hello, I am a Silver Whale Witch. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another unboxing of the Witch's Moon box for June of 2022. Comes in a nice sturdy box. And let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have this month. moon box and with that let's just go ahead and dig right in and get it open <clears throat> I had a feeling that was gonna happen all right well I guess we'll just dive in here all right, so inside each of their boxes, they have information on what's inside along with an oracle reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look what the oracle reading is. All right, I think this wants to fall this month. Ooh, it says healer. When you awaken to your truth, the feeling is so incredible and freeing that you may feel that it is your responsibility to help all feel this good. To try and awaken others is not the role of a healer. Your job is to feel the best you can in every moment. To be in full balance with you, allow your higher self, the whole of the universe to shine through you and inspire others to choose to see the world differently if they so desire. Whatever they choose to do is up to them. You have the choice to love you all and all. Everyone is at different levels of perception and consciousness. Wherever anyone is, is perfect for them in their life in that moment. Let everyone be as they are and just focus on feeling the best you can right now. No one has to change for you to feel love because you are love. That is beautiful. Look at the backs too. Those are gorgeous. Love that. All right, I'm curious to see what, um, what deck that is. And let's go ahead and I just wanna take a peek and confirm what the theme is this month, and then we'll read through the information at the end of the video. The Hanged Herb. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Uh, it is a sigil, and it says, I call upon the elements of nature for guidance and support. Love that. Look at the forest. Oh, that's beautiful. Really, really cool looking sigil too. Very cool. Okay. Then we have another grimoire artwork here that says, ooh, Rose of Jericho. Very pretty and all the different correspondences. And a bigger piece of artwork here. And it says, hmm, drying botanicals, desiccation, the removal of moisture from something. It's really neat. So it's got some information here about drying plants, which is very cool. Always love this artwork and the layout of these. They're absolutely stunning. I actually have a binder with a bunch of these in them in like little sleeves. If anybody's interested in me doing some sort of like a flip through of all the Witch's Moon artwork, let me know. I would love to do a video like that if anyone's interested in that. Okay, let's see what we've got. Yes. Laurel leaf, bay leaf. I actually have been burning a 
ton of this this last week. So I've actually used up my whole stock. So I'm really excited to get some more of that because I just ran out. And we have ooh, clove, another great herb. These, for me, I use all of these as like um, banishing and protection herbs. So I love the way they smell. It's remind me of being in elementary school. I don't know if anybody else has done this, but they we used to like take an orange and put a bunch of cloves all in it and stick it in a jar and cover it in cinnamon. Mm. Maybe I'll have to do that this year. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, we have, ooh, so we have some cord here. It looks like maybe some hemp cord. So I wonder if we're gonna have some supplies to maybe make our own dry bundle. Wouldn't that be awesome? We'll see. Oh, we've got, oh, okay. So it looks like the candle is up here. I'm gonna grab that so it doesn't fall out. And let's go ahead and see what the candle looks like. So you can always write on the outside the theme of the candle if you're not going to burn it right away. And they usually put oils or something on there, sometimes herbs, but not always. Oh, it just smells like the wax. I absolutely love that. Actually, it smells like it's got, it smells some clove, maybe cinnamon. Very, very pretty color too. It's almost like a brownish red. I really like that. Let's set that over here. And, ooh, we got a big piece of something in there. Oh, that looks pretty. I can't wait to see what that is. And we have Clarity Clove. So clove is definitely a theme. We got some cloves, some clove scented incense sticks, and I could smell some clove on the candle. Oh yeah. They're almost like clove and musky smelling at the same time. That is a really nice scent. Always, I'm not sure where they get their incense sticks or if they make them themselves, but um, I always love the way that they smell. Great incense. Okay, so there's some other things in here, but I kind of want to dig in and see what this wood item is because it is beautiful. I can see it peeking out here at me. Oh, wow. Is cool that is really nice okay so you've got wow so you've got these moon phases carved into the wood and then you've got the wood is stained black and you've got these nice hooks um, for drying herbs so you could then hang this in your space to dry herbs from and that's why we have the some cord to tie some herbs with. That is beautiful. Thank you, Witch's Moon. This is absolutely gorgeous. I will definitely be putting this to good use. Okay, let's see what else we have. We've got some bath salts. Airmids Embrace. Let's go ahead and see if I can identify any of the scent in here or just see how pretty it looks. Ooh, that is pretty. Mm, there's a very distinct scent in here. It smells very nice, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Big surprise, but I'm not sure what it is. Everything wants to fall down today. <laughs> um, but it definitely looks like it has some, uh, maybe some calendula leaf in there. And then some other herbs. I'm just gonna go ahead and go like that really quick. Let's see if I can show you guys how pretty this is in there. Here's the bath salts. So we'll see what the paperwork says to find out what else is in there. 
I smell like anise, but I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see what else we have. That's definitely going to be the oil. And it looks like there's one more item in here, which I am excited to see. And I'm going to think this might possibly be a Rose of Jericho plant because we have artwork for it. So let me go carefully. Um, though it sounds like it's got some loose in there, so I'm not sure. Let's see what we've got. I can carefully open this. of Jericho and it's really neat so if you just set it in a dish of water it actually completely opens up and turns green and then if you are to take it out of water then it just kind of dries up and curls back in on itself just like this very nice this is a huge one too very neat okay a shake in there. From the plant, so I'm gonna be careful with it. I don't want to bust it up while it's dry. Very neat. Okay. And then I think we have the oil here. So let's go ahead and see what kind of oil we have this month. Hearth oil, yes. Okay, so let's see. It's got a lot of herbs in there. I don't think that my lighting is well enough for me to show you guys the herbs in there, but there's a lot of herbs in there. And they usually do include a crystal in there as well, a quartz crystal. Mmm. That smells amazing. Again, I'll have to look at the paperwork. A lot of their scents are very complex. There's like a lot of different smells in there. So aside from them just always smelling absolutely amazing, it's hard to pinpoint out exactly what's in there. But there's definitely a scent in here that is very nice and I can't tell what it is. And I'm curious to see what that is. And then also inside the um, the salt, there's a very a different from the oil. There's a distinct scent in there that I can't quite place. So we shall see what the paperwork says. So let me see if I can prop some of this stuff up for you all to see and look at while I am reading the information. And then we will go through all the information that the Witch's Moon has provided to go along with the stuff in this box. All right, let's see if I can see if I can get it to stay if I do this. Maybe not. stuff in this month's box. I don't know if I can fit it all up here for you guys. Um, let's try this. Sit it behind it. How about that? There we go. All right, um, we got the Jericho plant too. 
so many things, you guys. So many things in this box. They're all beautiful. Okay. Go ahead and set that right there. And the Oracle card. Okay. And the candle. Oh my gosh, you guys. This box is just crammed with things this month. There we go. I think I got it all up there. <laughs> we'll see if it stays. Um, okay, so bear with me here. There is usually two full sheets of paperwork and they also always include a nice blank sheet of parchment to use either in spell work or to write your intentions down each month. Um, so I do like to keep those and use those. All right, it says the hanged herb as the wind as the wind battered on the window as the reminder of everlasting movement and change the solitude which took a deep and soothing breath the wonders of nature surrounded her house as if to create an embrace promising fulfillment to any pursuit Within the comfort of her space, she reached for a delicate bundle of herbs that were hung to dry. She knew exactly their purpose and how their energy would coincide with hers. She finds comfort in this sacred companionship and dives into the abundance of magic that is provided to her by spirits that surround. In this extremely exclusive and one-of-a-kind collection, we provide such unique tools to assist you in connecting with all the nature that surrounds you. We work with these earthly elements to strengthen our bond and fortify our influence on our current realities. Join us this June as we pursue manifestation through intentional ritual and crafting. The magical items in this box are as follows. The Moon Phase Carved and Stained dra Herb Drying Rack. It is with, within our nature to collection and find materials that bring warmth and comfort into our sacred space. We find so many benefits in, in including a variety of natural elements into our surroundings, including but not limited to shells, wood items, talismans, plaques, fountains, herbs, flowers, and candles. As each of these items and tools have called to us in a very specific way, we know that these are destined to become a part of our magical area. It is so important to surround yourself with magical representations so that you can easily call upon these energies for support as you work through your life's process, attempting to understand all aspects of the craft through solid and real action. As practitioners, our bond with the natural world around us is key to our progress and transformation. We find complete solace in bringing nature into our inside realm where we can collaborate with these energies. In this very special collection, we have designed the Moon Phase Carved and Stained drying, Herb Drying Rack. This beautiful hanging rack has been crafted from the fallen Albizia hmm, chinensis tree and has been elegantly pieced together with hand-carved detail. We have attached a black rope to hang this drying rack within your apothecary or herbal area of your house. Below, you will find six hooks where you can hang a variety of herbs, flowers, etc. Herb drying racks were commonly found in households throughout the 18th, 19th, and early 20th centuries as herbal preparations were not so easily accessible as they are today. In addition, preparing your own herbs and hanging them to dry would produce the highest quality outcome, as well as provide a purposeful connection 
with the herbal energies. The process of drying your herbs is a wonderful way to preserve the vibration that resonates with each specific species. Including within this collection to accompany your herb drying rack is a desiccation book of shadows artwork. Within this inspired work, you will find simple information on how to dry leaves, flowers, seeds, and fruit, roots, and bark. We urge you to begin your journey with herbs that have yet to be processed. If you have a large garden within your backyard or a small paradise of herbs and plants within your home, it can become beneficial to start including dried herbs in your list of specialties. In addition to harvesting fruits, seeds, and vegetables, you will find the imagery of the moon phases on the front of your drying rack to promote our connection with the wild energies of the feminine divine. These cycles also remind us of the purposefulness of all aspects of life and death through our personal journeys, as well as the natural elements that we choose to work with, we call upon and are inspired by the energies that all herbs and plants provide during life and through desiccation. We truly hope that you find a perfect place to hang this drying rack in your home, providing you with the inspiration to work more deeply and intuitively with the nature spirits that are closer to you than you may think. May you find companionship and guidance within this sacred craft. That is beautiful. I cannot wait to hang this up. The carving on this, you guys, is it's stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. So with that, the next item is twin twine bundle. That's this stuff right here. Okay. Another um, thing is I've collected a bunch of this over time from the Witch's Moon boxes, the previous ones. So um, that's another thing you can do is save the items from the box to reuse them and things like this later on. Um, it says that we have included a small bundle of thick twine to assist you in creating bundles of herbs for hanging. This this twine can be cut into smaller pieces if so desired. The Desiccation Book of Shadows reference artwork created exclusively for this very collection. This beautiful and inspired Desiccation Book of Shadows artwork provides essential recommendations for drying a variety of natural elements, including leaves, flowers, seeds, and fruits, roots, and bark. Keep this print within your Book of Shadows for reference or display in your sacred space. Written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. Do not make copies, not for resale. We have had to substitute some of the backings to these pieces due to supply shortages. Excellent. Okay, and the next thing we have is the hand-rolled candle, which these always burn amazing. I'm really curious to see what um, it smells like they put some sort of oil or something on there and I'm not sure it smells a little bit like clove but maybe something else maybe cinnamon so let's see let's see what we've got on the candle okay hand rolled the sacred cottage spell candle we have hand rolled the sacred cottage spell candle with the intention of bringing comfort and creativity into your very personal sacred space as you allow the flame from this candle to dance before you within your magical area, take your time in clearing and setting the desired tone. This can include cleansing, meditating, and setting your specific intentions for the energies you plan to you plan on experiencing. We have included the oils of cinnamon, almond, clove, and anise to the rolling of this spell candle. Um, so I could definitely smell the cinnamon and the clove 
on that. Um, very nice. Okay, and then it says here, we recommend noting your experience within your book of shadows during these times and referring to them after a full moon cycle has passed. If you are unable to use a candle holder that might fit this candle, place over a plate or offering dish in which you would like to burn your candle. Place a flame to the bottom of the candle, allowing the wax to form a puddle. Quickly place your candle in the upright position in the middle of the puddle and hold for a few seconds. This technique will allow you to burn your candle on any surface. Always use caution when burning any candle. Keep water close and using a fireproof container. Yes, very important. Okay, and then we have the Rose of Jericho plant, also known as the Resurrection plant. The Rose of Jericho can be found as a very sacred symbol within Wicca, Santeria, Yoruba, among many others. The Rose of Jericho has almost always been in direct representation of death and rebirth, stemming through many transformations over and over again. Although there are many medicinal applications for the Rose of Jericho, it is commonly used for the, for the, used for bringing the energies of prosperity, peace, harmony, protection, and new beginnings into one's environment. It is even said that the remaining water left from the rose can be bottled and used for anointing tools for revitalization and blessings. That's cool, I hadn't heard that before, so that's very neat. Um, to bring your Rose of Jericho to life, simply place within a bowl that has been filled with only a small amount of water. Allow a few minutes to pass as you slowly start to see the rose open more and more. Display on your altar or keep within your apothecary cabinet. Very cool. And then we also have the Rose of Jericho Herbal Grimoire artwork to accompany the Rose of Jericho. We have included the Rose of Jericho Herbal Grimoire artwork for you to display on your altar or use for reference within this beautiful, beautifully created and inspired artwork. You will find many correspondences as well as a brief description of magical properties written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. Do not make copies and not for resale. Um, Hearth Magical Anointing Oil. That's the other one that I'm curious um, what else, what scents are in there. Uh, it says, the very vibrant and warming hearth anointing oil was created with the intention of bringing peace and comfort into your surroundings. This oil can work specifically well during times where you need to draw upon creative forces, assisting you in creating and crafting without the clutter and chaos of the outside world. As you use this oil, be sure that your intentions are clear. We will often recite short intentional mantras as we use these oils to anoint our skin or magical tools. We have enchanted this magical anointing oil with basil. That's probably what I was smelling. Very sweet smelling. Clove, almond, black pepper oils, and have included the herbs of olive leaf, lavender, and sage as well. Inside your oil, you will find a tiger's eye chip known for providing clarity and dispelling fear. We have also included a special mixture of our home blessing magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this oil. Be careful when applying to skin. The base of this oil is sunflower oil and some may be more sensitive than others when in contact with the skin, external use only. 
Okay, and we have our Herbal Companion Sigil artwork. This Herbal Companion Sigil was created specifically for this very collection. And I feel like I want to show this to you guys again. So this is the Herbal Companion Sigil artwork. Their sigils are absolutely stunning. Love these. Okay. Created from the following intention. I call upon the elements of nature for guidance and support. Recreate this within your personal book of shadows or incorporate within rituals. Do not make copies, not for resale. And then we have um, clove or miquette. Uh, it says that the clove tree, I didn't realize it was a tree. Okay, I guess I have to do a little bit more recent learning on that. The clove tree is a wonderful evergreen that can grow as tall as 40 feet high. It's a big tree. Um, the trees produce large leaves with crimson flowers Although that sounds that sounds gorgeous. I'm gonna have to Google that. Um, although clove has many medicinal applications, these fragrant buds hold a variety of potent energies and properties. Cloves are commonly used for banishing evil and harmful energies, shielding us from psychic attacks and manipulation. In addition, clove can bring the energies of prosperity, luck, happiness, memory, and passion. Planetary association is Jupiter. Elemental association is fire. And gender is masculine. Okay, and then we have laurel leaf or bay leaf. One of the more common herbs found within the witch's cabinet Bay leaves can be used for an assortment of tasks, including but not limited to stamina, intuitiveness, um, wishes, protection, and clearing. It is said that Apollo chewed on bay leaves to assist in inducing prophetic visions. Elemental association is fire, gender is masculine, and the planetary association is sun. And then we have the Clarity Clove Ritual Incense Sticks. As you allow the vibrant and potent smoke from, these, from this ritual incense to waft throughout your sacred space, allow its protective and positive energies to surround you. Burn this ritual incense during any home blessing or, clear, or clearing ritual. And then we have Airmids embrace sacred salt this very special sacred salt blend was created to bring us closer to our natural earthly roots Ermid in irish mythology was one of the tuatha de danan danan and considered to be a race of supernatural beings it is said that Ermid went over her brother's wept over her brother's grave. As the tears fell from her face, all of the healing herbs of the world sprouted over her brother's body. It is within her knowledge that all the remaining herbal secrets are hidden away. Relax and let go of preconceived thoughts and expectations. Allow your inner chatter to slow, stop cluttering your emotions. Um, this bath ritual is wonderful to conduct while working to clear your emotional baggage and ground your energies. We have enchanted this sacred salt with basil, sweet orange, and cedarwood oils, as well as marigold, dandelion leaf, and plantain herb. We have also included a spe special mixture of our Gaia's Messenger magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of this sacred salt. If bath is unavailable, steep bath salt in a bowl of warm water and wash over the skin to benefit from the energies within, external use only. 
Okay, and then we have the personal oracle reading. We have meditated and selected a card from the Flower of Life Wisdom of a Star Oracle Cards by Denise Jarvie to place inside your box. This card and the message that it holds was meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that resonates within its imagery and description. Let it speak to the pressing realities in your world, providing you with the relative, with the relevant guidance you may need at this time. And of course, the piece of parchment paper. We believe that writing down your intentions and goals pushes you further in accomplishing them. We have added a piece of parchment for you to write down your intentions before your rituals so that you may add it to your own personal book of shadows. As you perform your rituals, do not set expectations. Cast your intention and be of pure heart and mind. These very personal moments are for you. There is so much knowledge available to you. We urge you to stay eager for enlightenment and open to the blessings that are so sacredly gifted to you by the universal divine. May the herbal energies that surround your sacred space bring you comfort and knowledge during your times of need. Be blessed, the witch's moon, the hanged herb, June, June 2022, Gibbous. Beautiful. Well, that is everything this month, you guys. Um, I just kind of feel like showing you guys again what we have. So we have this beautiful uh, Jericho plant and our candle, along with the hearth oil, which smells amazing. This beautiful, I'm gonna try and give you guys, I'm dropping everything today. I wanna try and give you guys a close up of the carving on here because it is just, it is absolutely beautiful. And then with the stain on there as well. Such beautiful craftsmanship. I love that. I cannot wait to hang that up. I think I might know where I'll put it too. We'll see. Very pretty. Okay, can't wait to use it. We had our bath salts, our clove herb, some good pieces of clove. Definitely want to look up that tree and see what those flowers look like. And then some bay leaf, our sigil, yay, very nice. And this again was the Rose of Jericho artwork. A nice oracle card. Packs are so pretty, love those colors and some clarity clove incense and this beautiful piece of artwork desiccation on how to dry things and look at that spiral that's just beautiful very nice all right there you guys have it that is everything for this month thank you for watching especially if you stuck with me all the way through to the end and i hope you have a great day and i'll see you next time thank you